to find things, not families. There is nothing more critical to a smooth experience using FairSplit than photographing the assets to be divided correctly. Please pay attention to the information here, pause, replay, etc. until you are comfortable. When preparing to start photographing, open the curtains, turn on all lights, and imagine wearing your air hat as you plan to take your photos. The air hat concept will help you focus on taking photos that are something clearly to be chosen to divide. In other words, if I describe what I see in that photo, that is an item or group of items I expect to receive if it is awarded to me, and it is clear to me and whoever is packing the items. Remember, your fair split account is cloud-based. It is not a software on your laptop or phone, so you may log into it from any device with internet access. You can create the account on your laptop, photograph from your phone, log in and upload to rooms directly from your phone, or move photos to your laptop and work directly from there. You can even log in from any other computer from anywhere. So when you begin, start with a pad of paper, a pen, and a tape measure to photograph room by room and to take relevant notes. First, Take photos of the room standing in the doorway or from different angles. These are overview photos, usually two or three per room. Then carefully and methodically take single photos of each item or pairs or groups of things the way one would want to keep together. These are primary photos and will be the ones we describe as an asset name and to list. This can be quickly done with today's phone cameras. Click, 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 and done. Notes added to the paper and an extra photo or secondary photos may be needed for things like rug size, artist information, quality, or damage. These, like the overview photos, will not be renamed or converted into assets. The last photo you take of the room is the sheet of paper with your notes. In your account, click on Property 1, rename it to whatever you want, recreate the rooms of your house, Highlight the room photos on your laptop or phone and upload. Note, the photos must be actually on your computer or device, not stored in iPhoto or iCloud or Google Photos or other cloud-based location. You would need to move them back to your laptop to then upload to FairSplit if they are there. This process described is critical. The easiest way to catalog the assets of a home for your division is to get the photos correct upload into the correct room in your FairSplit account, and then rename the photo file on the primary photos only in each room. If by chance you named the photos on your computer to indicate what the photo is, you may simply edit the file name once in FairSplit by removing the .jpg from the file name. Proceed to the next room, etc. until done. So the process basically is start with a pad of paper, a pen, and tape measure to photograph room by room. Begin by opening the curtains and turning on all the lights to help with the quality of the photos. Take three to four photos of each room from various angles, the overview photos. Then carefully take single photos of each item or pairs, basically how one wants to keep together and award in your division process. These are the primary photos. Click, 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 and done. Take notes when needed, and those are the secondary photos. The last room photo is the sheet of paper with notes. Proceed to the next room, etc., until done. Number four is simply create your fair split account, recreate the rooms of your house, and highlight the room photos and upload. Listing the assets, go to a room, click a primary photo on the photo, not select, click on the actual photo. Edit the photo name at the top, putting a very descriptive name that would probably make clear what the item is listed, even without the photo. If more details are needed, like a history of the item, etc., put those details at the bottom of the photo. And click OK to save. Do this for five or ten photos to get the hang of it. Then go to the bottom left of the room and click the blue button, List an asset for each photo. Leave the checked box next to only convert photos that had their title changed. This is why we don't edit overview or secondary photos. Okay, those were the basics. Feel free to rewind and make sure you're clear on those. And here's some other practical tips that will be helpful. 
Group items into usable groups for photos, like kitchen items, garage tools, figurines, and maybe little groups of two or three items or a half dozen items. In other words, not all frying pans as one item. I like to get brown paper bags, mark them like K1 for kitchen one, and put a group of mixed items that will fit into the bag, photographed in front of that bag, like a frying pan, boiler, colander, measuring cup, a couple of spatulas, three wooden spoons, and take one photo of that, put it all in the bag. If it's a matching set, maybe put all that together. Otherwise, do usable groups so you don't need to have a single rake or spatula as a single item. If you do a drawer or cabinet of assorted things as one asset, make sure the photo is clearly only showing those things. This is because most people don't need six more frying pans in their kitchen, but they could certainly use maybe a couple or a little bit of extra uh, in a lot of different things. Be aware of personal treasures with emotional value. Again, imagine wearing that air hat, H-E-I-R hat. Look for the Winnie the Pooh book or the Bambi or Grimm's fairy tales a parent read to the children and maybe wanted to pass down. Look for the small dinner bell, the sugar bowl, cookie jar, or old wooden rolling pen that may have sentimental value and list those separately as they are likely wanted by someone. Most clothing is unwanted, but a nice blazer, a cool hat, leather jacket, or old classic ties are favorites for grandchildren to like wearing grandpa's classic items, so look for those to list separately. Jewelry is often wanted because it is small and personal. It's pretty fast and easy to lay jewelry out on a blanket or towel in small groups, label the groups A, B, C, etc., and photograph and put in a baggie as an item. A single item might be you know, uh, a, a necklace, bracelet, and earrings that match. Okay, I hope I didn't overwhelm you, but we want this to go well for you and your family. So thanks for the time spent getting you off on the right foot.